episode of my knitting podcast. Today is a bit of a special episode, it's going to be a bit different because I will be talking a lot about the summer knit along that is currently running or that I'm hosting um, and I don't have that much knitting to show you. I have, well, I say that I've got two uh, finished objects that I can show you so yeah. I have a bit to show you. <laughs> uh, for everybody who's new to this channel, a very warm welcome. My name is Anastasia. I'm a very passionate knitter. I knit everywhere and anytime I can. <laughs> um, even if I go to the pub, I still knit. Um, but yeah, if you want to know more about like a bit of background information, you can just go th um, back a few episodes because up until recently, I've always introduced myself a bit more in detail. Um, so it's been a year podcasting and I thought it's going to be so much easier, but it's actually still not so easy. Um, but today I'm a bit under a, a sort of a time limit because I have to leave the house in like one hour and 15 minutes. So yeah, let's, just, uh, let's get started straight away. Um, yeah, bit of a live update. Um, as much as can, I can update you. So um, last week there was very well there was a lot of rainfall in Germany if you've seen that so I've been actually very concerned or actually it it was actually something that was really on my mind because I saw how many people have lost their homes and it's been absolutely awful for them. Um, the region where I'm from actually was as well quite well flooded there were some areas that were very flooded so um, yeah luckily my family's okay they live far away from any water they just had a bit of water in the cellar but that's sort of that can happen but yeah that was something that was sort of like on my mind constantly and it's just awful to see that and then you realize how small we are against like the nature right <laughs> so there's uh, yeah that's been quite a thing other than that, in my life nothing happened. Well, I've got my uh, schedule now for August and I see, well, I've got actually quite a lot of work coming up, so which is good. That's meaning that the travel industry is sort of coming back. Um, so I'm looking forward to that, but at the same time, I actually have to get like ready. I have to study a lot. Um, so that was sort of what I've been doing. Um, and yeah. Uh, other than that, we have a heat wave here in the UK, so it's absolutely boiling out here out there. It's like 30 degrees. Um, yesterday, I've been like almost a whole day on the beach, just enjoying the sun. I've been like studying on the beach, um, which was great. <laughs> and then today in the morning, I um, before I started working and doing the podcast, I actually went out with my paddle board. So this is. Probably like you will see a little section of that in the intro or you've already seen that um, and that's amazing as well. I even took my knitting with me just in case I fancied a few rows and I actually knit a few rows on my socks um, and I was just enjoying like the lovely weather and the water and I've been like swimming recently a bit and oh, I, I love the seaside for that for the summertime um, so that's that's been great. Yeah, and that's it about the life uh, update. There's nothing more to tell you. So let's start with the knitting content. Um, before I forget to mention it, so what I'm wearing today, today, uh, so this is the Chianti top by uh, Luisa Puccini. It's a top that I test knitted for her last summer. And so I'm, you will actually probably see me like, like trying to get it up a bit because I actually realized that the straps have uh, become a bit long <laughs> so I'm worried that it's gonna like fall down too much so it's actually quite see-through so I just wear like a, a neutral bra and it's got like the um, just like strappy tops I actually you can see in there I have like a um, elastic there at the moment just like a hair elastic because I need to shorten these but I wanted to wear some knitwear and I thought, oh, well, I'll just make it work. Um, it's a lovely top. I actually really love the fit. Besides of the thing with the straps, I have to fix that. Um, I've 
it's the first top that I knitted out of a uh, of linen. So I used a Lithuanian linen that I got at um, Tribe Yarns in London. It's been amazingly well. If you if you want to go back, I think it's one of the first episodes that I talk about. But it was a very affordable um, um, project because I only used like less than a skein. And the skin was like nine pounds or so, so it's super affordable. It's very beautiful. I really love that lace. Um, it looks super, super beautiful and neat. And yeah, uh, it. I remember it was very like fun to knit. It was quite a challenge at that time because I've never done like I caught uh, bind offs and stuff like that. So um, that was great to to just try out. Um, and it's. I think it's a really lovely summer top. If if you don't mind this like sheer panel, so it's a bit, it's a bit see-through, so you have to be comfortable with that. I'm more worried about at the moment that it's just, uh, yeah, uh, the, the, the straps are a bit too long, but that's a different story. I can fix that. I know how to fix it. I just have to, I just have to do it again. So, enough about that. But whilst we're talking about summer tops, let's talk about the uh, summer knit along. So my uh, summer knit along that is currently running, um, if you are on Instagram you can see that under the hashtag free your summer knits and uh, if you're on Ravelry you can just join my group over there, it's the free or sheep uh, podcast group and over there I've got a chatter thread where you can like just give us updates what you're knitting on and see other people what they're uh, knitting. And then I've got a finished object thread as well, where you can post the picture of your finished uh, top, and then uh, by entering, well, by posting the picture there, you will enter for the giveaway. And I've got some very nice prizes. So today I will talk about more about these prizes. Um, but let's just mention the winners from my last episode because to kick off the summer knit along. I thought it would be great to have some prizes um, for the first episode. So, uh, let me put my phone on mute because that's annoying. <laughs> um, the two winners from my last episodes are, first of all, Maki. So, I will insert a little picture over here. Um, so, Maki, she, you won a, a, a pattern from uh, Hannah Lubin from Herb Garden Knitwear. So, that's the first winner. And then the second winner is Hellbore Fiber. I hope I said that right. Uh, you've won a pattern by Lily Kate. So if you just want to get in contact with me, I um, have my email address linked down below as well. And um, yeah, then that you will be receiving a pattern code for Ravelry or the pattern of your choice. Whew. Okay. Great, two winners, but you actually probably also want to win something. So let's talk about the other prizes that I've got for the whole summer knit along. So the first prize is a pattern by um, Herb Garden Knitwear, so Hannah. Um, she donated one of her patterns, so you can just choose. Um, she actually has got like a few nice uh, summer tops as well in her Ravelry store. So there's one which is called the Thar Tank Top. I really like that one, so I'll insert a picture over here. And then the other one that is going to be published very soon is the uh, Seaborn Tea. I really like the look of that one. I find it's like very classical. It looks very much storeboard. I mean, I like that kind of look. Um, and uh, she's going to be releasing that at the beginning of August, I think. Um, if you want to see a bit more about that top, uh, um, Laura from Penrose Knits, she uh, test knitted for her and she, she like to talk a bit more in detail about that top so that's um, maybe something interesting for you to watch. And the other top that you could knit from her uh, for the summer uh, knit along is the Feldspar tee. That's actually a top that I knitted, that I finished, that I'm going to show you in a bit. So the Feldspar tee that it's a free pattern until the 23rd of July. So you've got so today is the 21st, uh, hopefully I will be able to um, publish the pattern by this evening, latest tomorrow, so you will have like one day to get it, so make sure. 
uh, to visit uh, the pattern page or um, Hannah's pattern page uh, over there there's a link to the interweave website where you can get like a full booklet uh, of um, different patterns and Hannah's pattern is included in that I'm not too sure what happens under, uh, after the 23rd of July so um, if I have any information about that and where you can find a pattern I will edit the show notes so you can uh, find it afterwards if that's possible so that was the first prize the second um, well one of the prizes another prize will be a pattern by Lily Kate um, Lily Kate oh I love her patterns uh, I've knitted two already and I'm about to cast on the third one well I'm gonna repeat the third one so I'll be knitting another poison deco top so you probably have seen the first one that I knitted out of like a yellow Milburn DK um, that oh, well yellow it's like a golden color that I absolutely loved and I gave it to my sister so now I'm gonna knit one for myself um, the other patterns that she's got, well, she's got another one that I really like. It's the one that I want crop. It's like a crop top. Uh, it's knitted sideways, uh, which is a very different construction. And she's included like bustards and there's a crochet edging. So it's, I think it's probably very interesting to knit. Um, so if you want to have a look at her uh, rubbery store, she's got amazing patterns as well. And she's also got a YouTube podcast knitting podcast where she talks more about her designs and inspiration and stuff like that so definitely worth checking that out the third prize that you can win is the latest pattern by the bluebird box so anna was so kind she contacted me and said she would sponsor one copy of her keno c t i hope i said it right um that is a pattern for a tank top it's uh, it, well it has a, like a, a big lace panel and you can actually wear the lace panel either to the front or to the back but you can also wear the top inside out and it well I really like that you have that many options I really love that pattern and she was so kind she just gifted me one copy so I have that in my knit list I will definitely knit one of those uh, hopefully next month I think so I've got a few whips that I want to finish before I cast on new projects, but uh, it's definitely on my knit list and I just have to get the yarn for it. But that's a different story. <laughs> if you're not the biggest fan of having a tank top, you can actually have a look at her Sora top as well. That is a pattern that is a bit more boxy, so the shoulders are a bit more covered, but it's still got a very nice lace panel sort of on top of the shoulders. And yeah, that's definitely also something that you could knit during the summer top, well, our free your summer knits knit along. Okay, so these were all the prices, like all the pattern prices for the moment. Uh, there might be more coming. The next price that I've got is something that I made myself. So I spent some time with my sewing machine again. Well. I want to say some time. I spent quite a lot of time with the sewing machine um, because I made uh, free project bags. Only one is, well, you can win one project bag. Um, I made one for my friend uh, Leah, so there's a picture over there um, that I made for her. It was like Scottish inspired, from the Highlands inspired uh, project bag. And then I made two more and so you will have the chance to win one of these project bags so this is mine actually it's, i uh, picked the one that is a bit more wonky but over there you can see the one that i'm going to be using for the prize so we kind of the winner of the project bag will have sort of like the matching project bag with me it's a very nice and soft fabric it's not cotton it's i think it's like it's a silky silky material so I don't know if it's gonna be that sturdy inside I've got like a cotton matching cotton rose color I've inserted a little pocket um, I've inserted like a little loop where you can hang your um, stitch markers if you want to and a little handle over here um, so yeah that is the one that I made 
It's a pattern by Erika Arndt, so that's one that I already made a few times now and I just wanted to like use up some stuff that I, some, some fabric that I had at home and I thought it would be nice to gift something from me so not only something where I spent my money on but also something that I made so one of you will win a project bag made by me it's not gonna be perfect I promise <laughs> you will be able to probably find like a wonky seam or so but I've uh, spent a lot of time to try to get them as perfect as I could on mine I actually have a little the little um, a key charm that uh, Leah gave me. Uh, it's a key charm uh, where you sort of like knit your own sock for it. So it's a mini sock blocker. So I used her yarn and I ma made a little sock blocker and I sent her the same because she's got the same charm. So I sent her um, the mini sock as well. That's very beautiful. I think that's like a super nice gift that you can give your um, knitting friend. I, I'll link it down in the um, in the description box in case you want to get a little knitting gift for your friends um, because her her yarn store has them now on sale so um, maybe something that you might be interested in the last price that I want to talk about is the biggest one in value I want to say and I'm really really happy well that I can sort of put that to the prices um, I was in contact with Netpro and they were so kind to sponsor their natural mega uh, bow winder. If you haven't seen it before, I'll insert a picture here so you can have a look at it. It's very beautiful. It's made out of birch wood. It looks very sturdy. And I know that you can even replace the, um, the bands in case they like loosen up over the years. Which I love because, let's be honest, you kind of want to buy something that lasts. So I ordered one for myself um, so I'm looking forward to receiving that hopefully very soon in the mail but they were so kind to sponsor one for the giveaway so if you're participating at the knit along you can uh, have the chance to win one of those well one <laughs> and uh, knit for are actually running a knit along as well at the moment so it's definitely worth to check that out as well because you can actually get a free pattern um, I'll link it down below so you can find it on the blog and it's called the Summer Tea by Millie's Knit Designs. It's like a crop tea uh, made out of DK weight yarn and because it's DK weight yarn you can really have like, you can be very creative in when it, when it comes to like, like yarn choice. For example, one of the, her testers I saw uh, used to, um, two strands of fingering weight yarn so you can use up scraps that you have or you can use DK weight straps and make uh, like different stripes or if you have enough DK weight uh, to like make it in one color you can do that as well obviously I actually had an idea because last time I ordered the Milburn DK in charcoal and I've ordered six balls so I'm thinking of making one for myself out of that and I'm probably gonna try to knit it like sort of crop the body and then I'm gonna try to make the sleeves a bit longer because I should just be able to get like maybe three quarter sleeves with that uh, with six balls so yeah that's gonna be one of my future projects so these are all the prizes that I have for you I know aren't they amazing um, a big shout out to the designers thank you so much that you have uh, offered these patterns and it's definitely worth to check them all out so if you want I'll link them all down below so you can go and visit them and then obviously the ball winder that you can win I think it's amazing price as well so a big thank you to uh, Knit Pro and it's definitely worth to go and check out their knit along because you can double dip if you want so you can knit the summer tea by Millie's Knit Designs and entered in my uh, knit along and you might even win their knit, knit along prizes so they have a knit along prize as well definitely worth uh, checking it out so that's it about the knit along I hope you are as excited as I am I'm really really happy I have these amazing prizes for you and I hope you find them well interesting as well and I hope that you're gonna enter 
um, just don't forget to post your finished objects pictures on the thread so uh, yeah you enter the, gi the giveaway Whew. let's talk about finished objects my first finished object is actually sort of my entry my first entry to the knit along and I showed it well last time I showed you the yarn so I had it in my well I had it planned out and today I can already show you the finished object. So this one is the Feldsparty uh, by Hannah Lübben or Herbgar Knitwear. And it is at the moment still a free pattern. So you can get the copy until the 23rd of July, as I said before. It is like a boxy style, um, a bit of cropped tee. It's a bit more cropped. Mine is a bit more cropped than it should be because my row gauge was off. But yeah, let's talk about the roll gauge. Um, so I started knitting it and I thought, I'm just gonna, I really wanted to start knitting it straight away. So I thought, ah, I know my uh, gauge for that yarn. I've knitted the poisoned apple top out of it. So I just go down by like two needle size and be all right. So I did that, but my gauge was just too off. So I knit probably, I've, I've done like, probably like, a good three to four inches and then I realized now nah, I can't do it and then I ripped it all back started again did the same mistake didn't swatch <laughs> and I got to like three to four inches and I was like oh, again so the third time I just went for it and it actually worked out quite well the gauge is almost perfect besides of the row gauge and the pattern calls for like asks you to knit a certain number of rows and I should have just thought about it but well at the end it doesn't matter because I quite like cropped tee and I know exactly how I'm going to be wearing it so I'm going to be um, wearing it with like a high-waisted jeans that I really love at the moment and um, yeah so it's going to be looking really cool I think <laughs> I really love this uh, little eyelet pattern that you have um, on the bottom hem on the sleeves as well and then it sort of like runs all along the um, the shoulders and the neck and you can wear it like back or front it doesn't matter it's um, exactly the same unfortunately I don't know if you can see it on one side you can see my end sort of shining through because I had to weave them in um, yeah I'll probably wear that side then on the back um, but yeah, I'm really really happy. I love the color. I think the color is great It's um, quite a bit. Well, it's quite warm and that's the reason why I'm not wearing it today because I used the Milburn Decay by Eden Cottage Yarns and that is like 85% blue face Leicester and 15% silk So it is just a little bit too warm for the heat wave at the moment But I'm looking forward to wear that. Yeah to wear it like on a normal a normal English summer day like 15 to 20 degrees it will be to uh, like totally fine and yeah uh, if you want to knit it just make sure that you get the pattern before the 23rd of July um, or I will tell you as I said before what you have to do to get the pattern was well, really easy to knit and I like I just whisked for it oh uh, what I meant to say, I used um, five balls of the Melbourne Decay for the second size. I literally just used like, I think five grams or so of the six ball. So um, yeah, that was not a lot of yarn for that. So I'm quite happy with that as well. The next finished object that I have is the uh, cardigan that I already showed you in the last episode, I believe. So last time I just had to finish the button bands and I finally managed to do that. It was lying there and I was like, you know, I really don't like picking up stitches. Um, so it was just lying there and I was like, oh, I kind of have to just get it done. So at the moment I'm trying to like finish some whips just so I can like sort of forget about them and then have like a clear mind for all the projects that I want in it. So. Uh, that is the Dandelion Cardigan by Along, Along Avec Anna. Um, I always find a hard, na name hard to say <laughs> because it's a mixture of English and French. Um, yeah, it is a very, very beautiful cardigan. 
it's got like this dandelion stitch um, that is very very intricate it's super easy to knit actually it's well you you think that you would have to have a lot of concentration for that part of the body but you don't honestly it's very very mindless and then you just do like the raglan decreases so it's knit bottom up and yeah I really like how it came out. I hope it fits a little girl. I have somebody in mind that I want to give it to, but it is a knitter, so I'm not too sure. So normally I would probably say I would um, pick some proper wool, but then I thought, uh, well, I, I bought the yarn thinking, ah, for a baby garment or for a children garment, um, and like acrylic wouldn't be that bad. So I bought this, uh, what is it called, the Rico Baby Dream Decay. It's a, uh, what is it, 50% polyacryl and 50% acrylic, I think. No, sorry, 50% polyacryl and 50% polyamid. So, yeah, I really like the color. It's basically that's the reason why I bought it and the touch is really uh, soft. So I bought it and then now I'm thinking, shall I give it to the knitter or not? What do you think? Do you think a knitter will still appreciate it even though it's not like wool or anything like that? I had the person in mind straight away, but now I'm, I'm wondering if, if it's the right thing to do. I think it's really beautiful and um, I just hope it's big enough. So I hope the sleeves are big enough. I didn't gauge swatch for that. <laughs> I'll be honest, and I probably could have gone up a size, a needle size, uh, just by the touch of the fabric, but then it's probably also something that like keeps you warm on like a um, chillier day, I think. Um, the buttons that I used are just some buttons that I got in a local craft shop, uh, nothing special. And overall I'm super happy. I used exactly, and I, when I say exactly, I mean exactly four balls of uh, this uh, DK weight yarn. Uh, when I finished the bottom band yesterday night, I literally had like that much left to just weave in the end, which I'm very happy about because I'll probably try to return the last ball just because I don't want to have that much like stash. I, 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 I talk about future projects and stuff like that and then at the same time I kind of want to get rid of my stash and I know a lot of people do the same or think the same and then they buy new yarn again and I do that constantly but I'm always happy when I can use up like the whole quantity and I don't end up with like a little bit of something that you then have to think how you could possibly um, use it up sometime in the future. So these were all my finished objects and I've got no whips for you today because I'm actually just finishing up some stuff that I have been working on before and I haven't done much progress so it's not worth showing it again so I'll leave it there. I've got one of my almost finished objects over there that I just need to attach some buttons. I need to buy some buttons for that um, and then I will probably be able to show it to you like in a month or so. Um, because I'm still waiting for the pattern release day. I'm, I'm not too sure when it's going to be released. Yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this a bit different episode. No recommendations today um, because yeah, I, I, I haven't been watching that many knitting podcasts to be honest. I've been quite busy. Oh yes, one recommendation. If you were wondering as well how to um, deal with uh, variegated yarn or like speckled yarn, uh, Marina, my friend uh, from the Strawberry Patches podcast, she has done a, like a whole, almost like a whole section of her podcast was about speckled yarns, what kind of patterns you can use, um, how to get rid of pooling, how to like think about the um, helical knitting and stuff like that. So it's definitely worth to go and uh, watch her latest episode. I'll link it, I'll link it down below as well so you can find it easily. Yeah, that's my only recommendation for today. <laughs> oh, I hope you're well and I hope you're enjoying your summertime. If you're uh, in the Northern Hemisphere, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, I hope you're well and that you're enjoying the colder months. Uh, it's probably more like knitting, knitting weather for you, so that's nice as well. 
um, yeah, and then I will probably see you in a couple of weeks or so. I'll try to be back soon. Alright, take care and until next time. Bye bye.